No, don't do it. He has five reasons why you shouldn't go to the game. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Swirk. I'm a local real estate expert right here in the state of Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams Realty. Now, if this is the first time you come to the channel, welcome. We appreciate the support. Uh, you definitely want to click that little subscribe button, hit that bell. Uh, that way, every time we make a new video, you're going to get notified. And we definitely like a couple thumbs up because we appreciate the encouragement. Um, so what's the channel all about? We talk everything there is about Massachusetts, whether it's eating, sleeping, playing, drinking, or some of the reasons you shouldn't go to the Cape this year. So you definitely want to um, reach out to us with any questions. We know you have a ton of them. We have tons of answers. We love making the channel for you guys. Just remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back. All right, today we're gonna to talk about some of the reasons why we don't think you should go to the Cape this year. Uh, I know we're gonna get lots of emails on this one, um, but you know, the, the Cape Cod, absolutely beautiful place, um, beautiful peninsula as far as the state of Massachusetts is concerned. You know, it's that little hook that everyone sees on the map. Um, what's really interesting as far as the Cape is concerned is our inside guy, uh, Tyler McMillan, the man behind the camera, uh, he actually uh, has a place down there. So he's been doing a little bit of uh, R&D trying to figure out what's going on as far as the Cape is concerned. And we got a really interesting video for you today. All right, so the first reason we think you should stay away from the Cape this year is that uh, demand is way up. Now, um, how do we know this? We've, we've kind of put some analyticals uh, together. Uh, Tyler's put his thinking hat, cap on. Tyler actually lives next to one of the directors for the, um, the biggest uh, car rental and cab companies in, on the Cape. Um, and they had bookings up from 115% from last year. Um, that is 134% increase over 2020. So things are definitely um, moving fast and furious down there. You know, it's not an exact science, but um, now that we're looking at a 249 increase of rental cars booked for this summer uh, from 2020, we know it's going to be a busy season on the Cape. So um, the Cape gets overcrowded to begin with, and you, you just want to be prepared that this year we expect to be a lot more people there. Uh, it's going to turn into one of those Disney vacations that you know, you're going to be in line waiting, waiting, waiting. So be prepared to uh, hurry up and wait. All right, the second thing we're gonna talk about is the fact that, uh, never mind car rentals being uh, at a high cost, now you have the rentals themselves down there. Um, there is, they're at an all-time high. Uh, Tyler was actually doing some research for a place on Wellfleet. Uh, for a week rental, you're looking at $4,300 just to stay down the Cape. Um, so you gotta understand that with more, the increases of demand is gonna push the prices up. Uh, everyone was tucked away for a couple of years and this seems to be the summer of everyone just setting free and loose. Uh, so as far as uh, the car rental companies are having a higher demand, now the uh, short-term rentals are having um, high demand as well. So <clears throat> this is something, you know, short-term rentals over the years has gotten much more uh, popular. And because of that, the cities and towns say, hey, wait a second here, we got to make sure we get our taxes. So there's been extra fees put on top of that. <clears throat> it gets passed on to us as far as consumers is concerned. So um, there's no way around it. We got to pay the taxes here in Massachusetts. And a lot of it's going to come from the short-term rentals. All right, the third reason, and this is not just the Cape, but this is all over the, the state, never mind all over the country, um, food prices are very high. Um, you know, and when it comes to Cape Cod, there's so many great places, yeah, places. There's so many great places to go out and eat. So that's gonna have an impact as far as the entertainment budget is concerned. Um, there's some of the best seafood restaurants that are there. However, if the, sky, if the cost of food has skyrocketed, there's still lots of things to do there, but going out to eat and getting all those fried clams might be impacted by the high food prices. Uh, the fourth thing we want to talk about, and this is a strange thing to, to actually discuss, um, never mind on the YouTube channel, but just in general, we got sharks, right? We got shark, 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 sharks. So uh, what's happened? The water has gotten warmer. Uh, that means we have more seals coming in. What happens when you have more seals? You got more sharks. What happens more sharks? You got shark attacks. Um, so that's something that as a kid, like we never even thought about that whatsoever. Uh, then we start seeing little bits, you know, probably within the last like 15, 20 years, 
uh, you know, down in Wellfleet, that, you know, that's the first sighting of a great, war great white, and everyone's like, what? This is, this can't be true. Uh, Jaws, little fun fact, there's a place on Martha's Vineyard where it was, um, part of it was shot. So you kind of made pretend that there was sharks there because of watching the movie Jaws, but like, we didn't have sharks in the water as kids, you know, we, we had trash. And I take it back, we, uh, Boston Harbor got you know, pretty dirty there for a while. Um, it's nice and clean now. Uh, but that's the other thing you gotta think about. <clears throat> be careful when you're in the water, we got sharks. All right, the fifth and last reason why we think you should stay away from the Cape this year, um, the bridges, the bridges, the bridges, the bridges. Now, is there a problem with the bridges? No, except for the fact they get gridlock. So you easily, I mean, they can take you hours to get over. There's two bridges that go uh, back and forth from the Cape. There is the Sagamore and then there's the Bourne Bridge. And the Sagamore was the main one that everyone knew about. Uh, then people started going the Bourne Bridge and said, oh, I just kind of got out a little bit further, cut over there. All the shortcuts, everybody knows them. There's no way of getting around it. Uh, they've increased the size uh, or, or the Passover. There was a rotary there that used to clog it up big time. The Passover definitely helped that out. However, it's one of those things, I mean, you can just be in traffic for hours upon hours. Um, and it's really not that fun. It's not that fun to sit in traffic going towards your vacation or coming off Cape. Uh, that's a whole nother thing that you gotta be careful of when you leave because you'll just be sitting in bumper to bumper traffic. So uh, that's something we definitely want to kind of give everyone the heads up on. Now, Tyler's little tip, uh, he's got lots of tips as far as the cape is concerned, but his little tip is take a nice long nap and then around one o'clock in the morning, get up and then go ahead and get down to the cape or leave the cape uh, because there's a lot less people on the roads at that time in the morning. All right, so those are just five reasons we think that maybe this year could be the, the time to stay away from the Cape. Uh, it's one of our best places here in Massachusetts as far as the beaches are concerned. Uh, so I know it's a tough thing to say, hey, don't come visit our beautiful, beautiful Cape Cod. Uh, but we just want to set the expectations where things are getting a little bit busier down there and we want people to be prepared. So if you're looking to, um, you know, say you're coming to relocate, say you're coming to uh, check out the area, you're looking for some uh, hot spots as far as vacations are concerned, definitely reach out to us. We can get in touch with us anyway. We have different systems and uh, ways to get back in touch with people. So uh, we appreciate the support. Just remember all the questions you have, we'll have answers for when it comes to Massachusetts. You just gotta remember, we've always got your back.